Hello everyone, this is Vasant, a 9 pointer at IIT Bombay from the Department of Civil Engineering. This is our last problem on statically indeterminate structure. So this is the problem over here, you can see. So this is a aluminum cylinder. So it is like this. Aluminum cylinder is surrounded like this, okay. This is aluminum cylinder, outer aluminum cylinder. It has the value P is equal to 72 GPA and cross sectional area A is given that is 250 mm square. Okay. So, and uh, a brass rod, this is the brass rod which has E105 GPA and has cross sectional area 140 mm square. Cap at A is 1 mm. This cap is 1 mm. So bottom plate at C is rigid. This is rigid. So it won't undergo any deformations. So what is the force P that needs to be applied to close the gap at A? Means we need to close this gap. Means we need to move this cross rod downwards, effectively downwards by 1 mm. Then it will close, right? So the net movement of the brass rod should be 1 mm. So see, you are applying a compressive force on brass rod. So when it will go down, it will apply a tensile force on the aluminum cylinder, right? See, uh, you are applying force P like this. Then on the brass rod, on the brass rod, you take a brass rod, then it should be equal and opposite P, right? It is compressive. This is brass rod. So that will apply. This is the rigid plate. So this will apply load P downwards here. So because of that here, you will get load P, right? So it is like tensile tension, right? So tension in aluminum cylinder, compression, compression in brass rod so it will elongate right will elongate sorry it will contract it will elongate but if you observe one thing the material over here has elongation zero so this is del d that will be equal to zero right so the over Overall elongation of the aluminum rod will be at C, means it will elongate from C. So, the C will move by the overall elongation of the aluminum rod that is del A L, right? But along with that, we are applying the brass rod is compressing, right? So, if it compress, here it is 0, here it is 0, here del B is 0. But if you see del A, it is non zero. So it is moving downwards. So it is contributing, the compression of brass rod is contributing in closing the gap, right? And the tensile, see, if, if this aluminum rod goes down, then brass rod will also comes down. So this tension, this tension is tension in aluminum cylinder is also contributing to the contributing to the contribute contributing in closing the gap. So see, if it elongates, then it comes down. So effectively, del A L mod plus mod del brass should be is equals to one mm, right? Because this tension is see, if aluminum rod is going, this is brass rod, and this is aluminum uh, aluminum cylinder ka base. So if if it goes down like this, some amount, then brass rod will also come down. That is what we want by one mm. And and see this is uh, fixed. Uh, this is uh, fixed over here. So it has no uh, elongation in brass rod. But brass rod, we are applying compressive force P. That will also tries to uh, make the brass rod go down. So whatever compression is creating in the brass rod, that value plus whatever value created by the tension in aluminum cylinder, that value value 
का एडिशन दोनों का एडिशन शुड बी इक्वल टू वन एम एम तो दट इज दॉन्सेप्ट तो डेल वॉर्ड डेल एल विल बी इज इक्वल टू पी इन दट टू लेंथ लेंथ ऑफ अल्यूमिनियम रॉड डिवाइडेड बाई ई एल इंटू एरिया ऑफ अल्यूमिनियम सिलेंडर सॉरी इट इज सिलेंडर तो दिस इज पी द लेंथ इज गिवेन बाई गो बैक द लेंथ इज थ्री सेवेंटी फाइव एम एम दिस लेंथ इज थ्री सेवेंटी फाइव एम एम राइट तो दट इज थ्री सेवेंटी फाइव एम एम डिवाइडेड बाई ई वॉट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ ई ऑफ अल्यूमिनियम सेवेंटी टू टू टेन पावर नाइन जी बी ए इंटू ए इज टू फिफ्टी एम एम स्क्वायर तो दिस इज एम एम दिस इज न्यूटन पर मीटर स्क्वायर राइट दिस इज एम एम स्क्वायर So del of brass will be is equals to p into length of the brass divided by e into e brass into a brass. So that will be is equals to p into what is l? That is three seventy five plus one mm, right? That is three seventy six mm divided by e. What is the value of e of brass? That is one not five. Two ten power nine newton per meter square into a of the brass is one forty mm square. Right, so these two plus brass b is equals to p l a l divided by p a l a a l plus p l b r divided by p b r. A B R, right? That should be is equal to this value three seventy five P divided by seventy two into ten power nine into two fifty plus three seventy six divided by one not five into ten power nine into one forty. That should be is equal to one mm, right? So see if you see here one mm will cancel over here. One mm will cancel. So Newton. Divided by newton into mm p p ka value into this will be p ka units we don't know so this will go to m square right so this is equals to mm so that will go that mm square so p divided means p ka dimension will be square into newton divided by m square so this means Ten power minus six newtons means we need to apply uh, into ten power minus six. Then if you calculate these values, we will get P is equals to twenty one point five five kilo newton. You can calculate and see. See it means we need to multiply here ten power minus six. Okay, ten power minus so ten power minus six. 10 power minus 6. So then, whatever value you get here, you will get p in newtons, right? So that you will get as 21550. So that will be is equal to 21.55 kilo newtons. Okay. So this is the concept in this problem. So with this, we completed this problem, and we end here for today. Next lecture, we are going to start a thermal stress. We are going to start thermal stress. Until then, take care. Bye bye from Nine Point Five.